Morning everybody. Welcome to Saturday morning. I hope everybody's well. Bank holiday weekend, phew. Boy did I need a bank holiday weekend, and I'm sure you all do too. For well, those of you in the UK, I'm not sure if there is one in Europe, I don't think there is. Daniel, Lee, Donald, Lord, Giacomo, or Cycle Nutter, Reuben, you've been putting in some massive rides on your little journey across Holland. Cohen, Christopher, Radislaw, and Mr. Scott from Comhant TV. How are you all today? Hi, Chris. How's it going in Australia? Have you got your Wahoo yet? So today's race is another of these tour for alls. Morning, Simon, thank you for joining. Is the sound okay, sorry, before I say anything? Daniel, Dean, how's it going? Is the sound okay? Hi, David. Paul and Zach, good to have you on board. It's the, um, the tour for all. Let me just get the stats. Ooh. I think it's um, a couple of laps around London. And then at around about 31 kilometers, we hit the climb. Rich, how's it going? Squats and cycles, Chris, you are right? Oh, you've joined this one as well, have you, David? I hadn't seen that. Now, Graham Terry, aka Action GT, is in this race, as is Nick Colley. Now, David Raynham. And David, you've got big power. So for sure, you're gonna be able to hang in the front of the A group on the flat. That's the bit that I'm gonna struggle with. Andrew, good to have you on board. Chris Babilis, got three Chris's, a triplet of Chris's now. That's good. Corrine. I can't believe the length of the rise you continue to put in. Do you ever rest? Team D, sorry, Team DGR. Right on, good to have you on board. And another Christopher, four Chris's. This is good. Cycling Sean, good to have you here as well. So just been warming up. And I watched the Victor Campanart's video um, regarding cadence and he advocates like a 20 minute low watt effort with up to 120 RPM on the cadence. Hi Anthony, good to have you on board. So I experimented with that earlier. He believes it's good for the recovery, but also fires up the neuromuscular pathways so that you can get better at putting down big power ultimately with a high cadence, which is easier on the body. Thomas, thank you for joining. So having done the high cadence warm-ups, I did a ramp of high cadence warm-up. I then did a low cadence out the saddle uh, ramp as well. Graham, good luck today, I've seen you racing. I was just saying, you've been putting in the big rides, including PBs up out the Zwift. Good luck today. Hi Kevin and Josh, hope all's good. Now the weather was meant to be like overcast and really windy today. Otherwise, I may have had a ride outside and live streamed on a different day. But hopefully we get really good weather on Sunday and Monday. Because um, it's horrible Zwift racing in the high heat. Yeah, I used to train, well, Zwift on its training sessions gets you using a very high cadence as well. I think it's good. Tony, thank you for joining. How are you? Hey Ed, how's it going, you all right? Thank you for the tips on this. I watched your race yesterday. Congratulations on the win here, even though the internet was a bit intermittent. It was one hell of a climb. Lee, 150 RPM for the win. Oh yeah, in the sprint. Yeah, he was saying if he can put down very high cadence of up to 180 RPM in the sprint, um, that is optimal. Oh, okay, Rich. So hopefully it's quieting down a bit for the rest of the weekend. Get the hard weather out of the way, the windy weather. 
on a work day. 20 inch gym fan. Yeah, well, <laughs> I've got one of these Dyson things. I think it's becoming a little bit anemic as the weather improves. So you're gonna watch me melt. Ha, I love, I love how those of you from the North have different grades of what it means to come from the North. Of course, as a Londoner, anything North of Watford is the deep dark North for me. Stefan, thank you for joining, how are you? Now I'm guessing, Daniel, that you wouldn't class Birmingham as the North, that's the Midlands. What about, um, obviously Newcastle, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you class Newcastle as the proper North. Thank you, Jerry, appreciate that. So yeah, the high cadence stuff is all well and good, but on the climb, Sometimes if the gearing's not there for you, i.e. you've run out of gears, you've got to put in the low cadence stuff. So, I reckon a bit of both. Yeah, it was a great test, Stefan. Nice work. The, um, the ramp is a, a really uplifting test. Definitely leaves you feeling pumped at the end of it, plus you've, it doesn't drain you too much for training in the rest of the week. So we're just gonna do some low cadence out of the saddle work. But obviously that means now, Stefan, that you're gonna have harder efforts as a result. Oh. So, it's a double-edged sword always, isn't it, the FTP increase? But no, it's really good. It's what we all hunt down. And the harder efforts yield more progression as well. A virtuous cycle. So these are the Keith Robertson, really low cadence, out of the saddle drills. And I really love these, especially on a climb, because it gives, well, your bottom a rest, basically, and gets the hamstrings and glutes working and therefore gives the quads a bit more respite. And if you're at this kind of zone two, lower zone three level, lower zone three, I guess here, but zone two, as we get down towards 200, you can sustain it for a long time. And then when you sit back down, your, your cadence feels better. Better tension through the pedal stroke, a nice circular motion. Ah, yeah, Lord. I think Sweden, or if old slow joins, Norway tops it all. You're getting to that point of the year where you don't even get a night time, right? County Durham. Nice one, Corrine. Above Middlesbrough, classified as the North. Ha! Genius. In London, we have North London, north of the river, south London, south of the river. And I'm a south Londoner, south of the river. But those from real south London, we say I'm not a south Londoner. For obvious reasons. And those in the north of London rarely come south. But those of us in the south of London, we're quite happy to go north. I think they're more egalitarian. Yeah, it feels good, the low cadence on the steep climbs. So long as you're not going into threshold. If, yeah, David, if I got riders, I'd be straight off them as well. I am the most clumsy, accident-prone individual there is. Cockney. <laughs> I think Cockney is east of London and it's north of the river. Oh. Oh, the race is at 10 past, Giacomo. Hey Giacomo, really good result I saw. I was working so I couldn't really take part in the live chat. But really good result on um, Thursday. I saw you get a podium. Respect sir. 
Boy, would I love a podium one day. He gets two to three whole hours of darkness a day, do you, Lord? <laughs> Is that right, Ed? I, 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 I've had the carbohydrates in liquid form. First thing this morning, and another 30 grams in that. The pain phase will be deployed. Probably before we even get to the climb, unfortunately. Hi, Agnes. Thank you for joining, how are you today? Now, the Netherlands probably doesn't, in Lord Delego's eyes, count as a north. Hey, Stefan, a bump of eight watts in your FTP is huge. I would love to get a bump of eight watts in my FTP. And you will feel it on the efforts. Did you, Josh? Nice one, sir. Congratulations, triathletes. <laughs> I, I'm, I thought triathletes were like super fit, so um, correct me if I'm wrong there, are they not like amazing bike riders? Mick, morning to you, sir. There's no Quinton to drop me on the climb. Right. So, the strategy, and Coach Laverack has kindly bestowed a strategy upon me, is to stay in the wheels on the flat bit, but be vigilant for the splits off the front. Easily said, I'm sure I can muck that very simple instruction up. Morning Chris, how are you in the USA? Good to have you here, very early for you. Now we have five Chris's in the stream. The Shaz Bag, now that's a name. What do I use for my food and energy drinks? Branch Chain Cyclic Dextrine, or Scott from Comhan TV, he will confirm Monster is the preferred beverage of the Com Hunter. I crash like a, oh, like a boss on Monster. I have it, I fly. And then about three hours later, I need a nap. Yeah, but I mean, Mr. Nutter, that was a good result, mate. Now, the Shaz bag, what do you recommend for food or energy drinks? Now for energy foods, gels, carbohydrates, stuff that is very quickly and easily digestible. I don't wanna be digesting food while doing exercise. Um, before a race, Mark Harris, if I'm like three hours before a race, I might have oats with some almond milk, dried fruit, and then Mark Harris's premium ingredient, the maple syrup, the nitroglycerine dropped on it. But I'll also have some fast digesting carbs about half an hour before, if we're outside. <laughs> there is Ed to drop me. <laughs> you know, Mick, Ed will be doing like his zone one, zone two thing. It'll be a sea of kind of gray and blue on Ed's live stream. Mine will be like orange, red, heart rate 180 from about third minute onwards. And then we'll hit the climb. <laughs> I like your style, Lee. I think that's called stimulant hair of the dog. <laughs> when you're crashing on a pink monster, slam another one. I love that. <laughs> I would literally never go to sleep. I, I, if I don't have a, if I have to have my coffee before, well, really before 11 a.m. Otherwise, I'm climbing the walls. I'm quite a high maintenance high energy person, I guess. Yeah, the Chris's are multiplying. It's good, it's like a reverse takeover of Chris's. Loving it. Five Chris's, potentially six. I may have lost track on the count. I am multitasking after all. So, the plan, I forgot about the plan, yeah. So not get dropped for the first 30 kilometers, basically. 
see if that can be achieved. And then at 31 kilometers, the climb starts. And it's a hard first kilometer on the climb. This is all courtesy of Ed. So he says average six watts a kilogram. Yeah. I don't think I'll be six watts a kilogram. I'll give it my best though. I will bury myself on that first kilometer. Then there's 500 meters of kind of lower incline stuff where apparently you can get some recovery. I'll believe that when I see it. And then a mere 2.3 meters of steep inclines and a, very, a bit of flat at the very end. So I'll probably have to resort to over and under for that. But really, as is always the case at the moment with these super fast whiff races in the Cat A's, the objective here is to just be the best that I can be on the day. But if I'm wussing out, let me know in the comments. Wussing out will not be acceptable. So that means for me, some out of the seat saddle action. Out of the saddle action, not out of the seat. It's not a seat, is it? It's a saddle. <laughs> More power PB, Zach. I would love to. I won't rule it out. But I'm trying to get my race craft improved on Zwift. David, thank you very much for joining. How are you? Oh, let's go to the uh, event. Yes, indeed, two nuts. That is a nice, I like the symmetry of that actually. I do like symmetry in houses. My ideal house, obviously I live in an apartment, my, my ideal house is called five, four and a door. So you've got five windows across the top, including one directly above the door. And a door is sat right in the middle. And on either side, you've got two windows. Now that's far too much real estate for me. I will never have such a thing, but I do so love the symmetry of that. And so there we have a nut, a, a nut, a nut, a synergy. Of course, not good if you're allergic to nuts. <laughs> Thank you, David. I'm sure I'll oblige. Suffering is the one thing that can be guaranteed <laughs> on one of my live streams. Athletic performance, variable. It's a bit of a lottery. It's like a, a pick and mix of, will the legs be good? Um, or not. Now I have fueled properly for this. So, but don't let me whistle out. Okay, I'm gonna kinda just bring the heart rate down a bit, because obviously it does rise a little when you're, um, so, we're all in the pen. David Raynham, good luck, sir. Big power from you, please. Action GT, Graham Terry. Good luck to you, sir. Nick Colley, good luck. And Ed Laverack, enjoy the gentle warm up. <coughs> yeah, you said it, Agnes. Scott, we demand some KOMs from Comhunt TV. So, Scott, is there going to be a premiere this Sunday? Morning, Robert. How are you today? You had a pain face. Yeah, it's going to be deployed. The climb starts at 31 kilometers, but no doubt from about zone two onwards, what will look like suffering, but is in fact just my normal face, will start to manifest itself. But by the climb, I'm guessing we're going to be DEFCON 1, pain face, maximum deployment, like contortions, sweat, heart rate probably in the 180s, I always say this, Martin, but it's Martin Bengston, uh, Bengston of the massive power. I've been watching some of your crit races and I know you've been disappointed with your sprint and merely placing second or third, but the power you're putting down is astronomical and it's good WKG. Nice one, David. Yeah, select a tough one because it's gonna get hotter as the weekend progresses, hopefully. And so this is the day to put in a hard indoor effort. 8 p.m. Sunday, 
Comhunt TV premiere. And Giacomo will probably be dropping a, vi a video for his training at some point shortly, normally on a Sunday. Radislaw, thank you. And, and, and Radislaw, congratulations on your big FTP increase. I know you've been a big advocate of Ed Laverack's training programs. It's huge what you've done in the last, really, two months. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, Darren. I am here to oblige. It is, after all, entertainment, as well as imparting little nuggets about training and nutrition. Well, hopefully little nuggets. You may disagree. Come on in, Philip. Have fun, everybody. I love, I love all the, uh, the little comments at the beginning. Cheers, everybody. Make me man up, though. Straight to 175, genius. This is one of Ed Laverack's race starts. I practiced them midweek. Thirty seconds precisely. Nice one, Ed. Now about here, Ed is probably talking. Can't call as a cucumber. Sea of green. Sorry, sea of grey and blue. Just get back in a bunch. Trying to settle. Let the body find a new equilibrium, an uncomfortable one, but nonetheless, an equilibrium. Careless. That's right. That's the intense act. Train hard. Well, I say race easy. Train hard. Race probably harder on Zwift. But this is okay. So I'm just really concentrating here. Because I really do want to do well. It does mean a lot to me. That's why I'm only racing once a week, to avoid fatigue. <laughs> Cheers, I'll slow. I hope you're okay. In the next video, I'll slow, I've got some press ups where I ask for you to comment on my form. I know you weren't pleased with the hip movement on the last one. Okay, so this is okay. It's like four watts a kilogram or so, a bit less. 
and then there'll be a little incline, I think, as we go up towards Trafalgar Square, and then we'll kick there. Train hard, Zach. Recover harder. Race well. Work in progress, Jane. Most certainly. A sea of green, is it, Fred? Well, green is good. That's better than the usual blue and grey. Okay, bring the heart rate down, Phil. Try to focus on the nice cadence, circular motion. And now, a little incline. Oh, off the front, sorry, I'll slow. Hey Willie, thank you for joining. Yeah, Ed, heart rate 128, very funny. That's how he rolls. And a sea of blue and green. That's the difference between an elite athlete and me. Cheers, Daniel. That was a nice bit of high cadence work. Apologies. Towards the front again, I overcooked it. Hey Simon. The legs are okay, I think. Cheers for joining. Yeah, so there's a lot of work here at around threshold. <laughs> sorry, you know, sorry, I was slow. I don't want to tempt fate, do I? <coughs> yeah, yesterday was a good sprint training. I hit 753 watts for 20 seconds. It's about 11.95 watts a kilogram. Obviously the watt bike is quite stable. 
I'm not sure if I can repeat that outdoors. Nice one, Millie. Put in some hard efforts. Hashtag polarized. Right. Oh, Harrods. We go through Knightsbridge. Well, since I've been through here on Zwift. Or in real life, in all honesty. Right. It's quite a long, boring race, the lead up to the climb. Not boring in terms of effort. But just round and round London. It's prettier in reality. I think that Ovet rider is the really good one that Ed sometimes races. Yeah, I'll say. And that's where I've got a lot of work to do outdoors. Notwithstanding the outdoor crits over November to middle of March, my bike handling is obviously less than a year old, really. A lot of work to do there. And when I descend, it's very slow, in all honesty. Prefer the climbing. And this is what Ed Laverack's training does for you. You can go hard and then recover in that upper zone three, lower zone four. Polarized is about developing the top end power, zone five, six, and seven. And that drags up zone three and four. And partly the way it does that is because your recovery is improved. And therefore what felt difficult, zone three and four feels easier. Not easy, easier. Famous last words, all of that, as I get dropped. See, no pain face yet, really, other than the little efforts. That's coming, don't worry. No, cheers, Zach. That's good advice. So the weight today, 63 kilograms. That's what's in Zwift. I've been kind of holding that for the last, just over a month, I think. I don't think I've ever spent any drops um, the Shaz bag. The only upgrades I've ever had are the ones Zwift has given me. So that makes me probably now, not Chris Pritchard, the richest man in Watopia. Also, respect sir. A new 20 minute power increase is effort on the horizon. Yeah, the 20 minute test, oh so hard. But nice one, sir. So the people on the front are obviously looking for a fast time because they're saying there's time to make up. And that's concerning for someone like myself. Morning, Steve. How are you today? Another big ride. So many consecutive kind of 100 to 160 kilometer days that you're putting in. Oh, son of Steve over there, okay. Yeah, makes sense. But he's very good, isn't he? Cheers, Paul. Hopefully composed so far. Thank you, Esther. Really appreciate that. It's very motivating, all the encouragement that people are giving me. Love making the content. Hopefully, there's a few little training nuggets, whether it's nutrition, edge training, recovery, supplementation, that are useful. Glad to hear it, Steve. I 
a sea of grey. Yeah, that makes sense because I'm in a sea of kind of green and a little bit of yellow. Hopefully not surging too much here. It's a long old lead into the climb, isn't it? Cheers, Steve. Yeah, my heart rate's better. I was 180 for like nigh on 40 minutes on last week's race. Yeah, definitely, Rich. That's why I've been going to Swain's Lane, where I can hit like efforts of up to three minutes as hard as I want. Otherwise, I train at the closed circuits. Hey Ian, when's the ramp test next week? One ramp test a day, a uh, week. Like it. 3.5 at the back, is it Ed? Well, okay, I'll drop a little bit. <laughs> of course Ed's 3.5 at the back is my, probably, I don't know, actually since no, I'm, <laughs> A little maths problem there. Sorry, it's my 3.5 at the back as well. What am I saying? Yeah, is that the, so the leaf climb at the end is called the after party. Yeah, not labored so far. See, plenty of time for that to change. I think the riders at the front want to go a bit harder. But look at this, I'm very proud of this. A C of green and a tiny bit of yellow. So I don't think it's going to be a power PB today, Zach. It might be a 10 minute power PB on the hill though, if I put my mind to it. Oh right, that's interesting Richard, because the circuit is officially closed, so maybe they just put their bikes over the fence. I'm not sure if you're allowed to do that, you're probably not. And I am a rule, I abide by the rules, I'm not really a rule breaker in life. Ah. Up towards Marble Arch. Cheers, Ed. I'll go for the 10 minute effort. But I'm gonna do it, as you said, hard at the beginning. Now, I haven't tried that at the Shaz Bag. And there's also a new version of the ramp on Sufferfest with a hard effort before the ramp. How did you find it? Here we go, Marble Arch. <sighs> and back down the mouth, not the mouth. Oh, congratulations, Steve, that's huge. Oh. Okay, that sounds good, the Shaz bag. How did it impact on your normal kind of 20 minute readings and for the ramp test, your normal ramp test? I bet it had quite a big impact. Because the efforts on the 40p 
are super hard. Sprints and then a five minute effort first, isn't it? But a hard, hard, absolute max five minute effort. <laughs> Top 25, we will see. <laughs> Need to just push forward a little bit. And as we say, Admiralty Arch, where I started my first job in this building here. It's getting harder now. Yeah, no one's pulling, certainly not me. Hey Matt, oh Hindon's open is it? Perfect, thank you Matt. Appreciate the heads up. Yeah, Hellingdon is Hog Hill, it has the steep climb to go over the finish. It's basically where I earned all my cat four points to get promoted. A hill sprint finish suits me obviously. Yeah that is a posh old building old slow but it's quite well it's very old. King Charles used to have his bank there and there's all the ledgers in there, where Drummond's just there, just here now. The bank clerks used to fill in his bank accounts, all in nice quill, handwritten calligraphy. But that means the building's got no air conditioning, not at all modern, not a great place to actually work in the summer, very hot. too easy. It doesn't feel easy actually Steve. It's not like max effort yet but it's wearing me down ahead of the climb. Doesn't surprise me, Shazbag. When you go absolute max effort for five minutes, it's very hard to do a 20 minute effort on the back of it. That's why there's no adjustment, is there, on the 20 minute power. It's 100% of whatever your 20 minutes is on the 4DP test. Hi, Maxilus. Yeah, I'd agree. It will make the ramp less prone to overstatement, that's putting it that mildly. Okay, halfway. Still got about 11, 12 kilometers to go to the climb. This is a really boring course. I'm sorry about this everybody, I didn't realize.
Well, it'd be boring until it isn't boring, i.e. people break off the front. Well, that's one way of doing it, isn't it, old slow? It removes any conjecture about fresh legs or not. You just do it. And you're probably doing it, I don't know, I guess 20, 30, 40 minutes into a ride. So you haven't got the fresh legs. No, it isn't, but it's better on the flat. And because we've got 31 kilometers of effectively flat, I figured it was the one to go for. Ha, <laughs> that's very funny, Steve. So the climb ends, does it, Lord De Lego, at 33.8. Yeah, it starts at 31, doesn't it? Yeah, the, I think the plateau it was saying comes at about one kilometer into the climb. Yeah, and it's not going to be an easy one, is it? Oh, slow. Hopefully it'll be seeded to my over and under technique on the latter half. Wow, Steve, two hours, 30, sweet spot. That is gonna be super hard. I find that kind of tempo work, lower zone three, really tough. Well, not really tough, but, you know, you kind of gotta dig in, you haven't got the hard efforts to break the monotony, but it's still quite a high pace, it's that kind of thing. Well, I think Victor Campanance would like the, uh, the cadence here. I was really disappointed when Victor moved from Lotto Sudal. He used to like that combination of him on a time trial, Thomas again getting third, and Victor just killing it. And he'd pull hard at the front as well for Caleb Ewing. You see, this race is so boring, it's putting the pressure on me for the climb.
Where's the big foothills, Steve? Watopia are outside. Cheers, Steve. I'll try. Ah, oh, yes. That's right, Ed. Well, always trying to do my best. But with Coach Laverack in the race, there's that extra bit. What is Quatch Crest? Nice one. Quatch Quest. Okay, Steve, good luck with that. Hold in. Morning to you, sir. I hope it's a beautiful day in France. Yes, it's been a good start for me. A relief, in all honesty. Because I might hopefully have enough left in the tank for a decent effort up Leaf Hill. So what is that quest, Corinne? Is it like a training method or a race or something? Oh, it's not giving me the right gears. Cheers, David. Don't you worry, the pain face will be coming. Yeah, that was tough. Had to really concentrate there. Staying vigilant. Nice one, Steve, a double century. Solo, impressive.
Morning, Mohammed. Thank you very much for joining. How are you today? No, I figured that, Agnes, because Corrine's exploits are phenomenal. That's all your own. <laughs> but Corrine is on another level to us all, even in more than Ed Laverack in terms of distance. And Steve's not far behind. Corrine, that is. Nice one, Mohammed. Apologies I'm not talking too much. Just trying to conserve energy and heart rate for the climb. Comes shortly. I failed to see that, Ed. A treble Aldox, or whatever we call them. Monsieur Rillo, looking forward to your Instagram post on the new Pinarillo Dogma F12. It looks beautiful. Yeah, yeah, Rich, I'm sorry. Um, I'm quite, I find it's quite hard actually now. These 30 kilometers, even though they haven't been max effort, are certainly draining the energy a bit and I'm just trying to stay calm and conserve energy for when it counts, which is about four kilometers away. If that. I'm just coming to Tower Bridge, up past my house. I won't make hard left turn into Queen Elizabeth Street. Ah, oh, we're not going over Tower Bridge. Oh, there we are. Yes, we are. Oh, I should recognise my own backyard. He does, and my left turn will be about there.
This is um, Jamaica Road, and this doesn't even exist. We're going under underground at Southwark train station, underground train station here. Okay. Thanks all. Cheers, Lee. Thanks, Donald. Uh, yeah, I agree. It does take a hell of a lot of practice to mark, master anything. They say the same of a musical instrument. Right. Oh, that was a climb. Here it is. Can't get the right gear.
Oh dear. Oh. Oh dear me. Oh dear me. Oh. Oh, cheers, Mark. Yeah, I forgot to use it. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry, I can barely talk. Yeah, that was a max effort at the end there. Eh? What I'm gonna do, just quickly shut down Zwift, and I'll load it back up. Just give me one second. Oh, dear. What was the, uh, see what the 10 minute power was actually. If we go M ride, I think it is M ride, isn't it? I always get this wrong, I can't think at the end of a ride.
Well, it's only six watts off a 10 minute PB. Oh, oh I came quite close to a 20 minute PB. But look at that. Yeah, up to 15 minutes here. This was a max effort ride for me, so that's pretty good. Wow, I didn't expect that in all honesty. Wow, we. I'm quite happy with that. And let's see what my last minute was, because that was pretty emotional. Yeah, so just under 400 watts. Right, so let's have a quick look. Um, on actually, I can go onto Swift Power, can't I? That was really difficult because the first 32 kilometers or something, even though it's not like max effort, it grinds you down quite a lot. So when you hit the climb, your heart rate's kind of 170 or so, and it rose very rapidly into the 180s. But I do know from experience that I can last a long time in the 180s, and so I know not to panic when I see that. And then I kind of think, you, you probably didn't notice it, but I was doing slight overs and unders um, on the, the latter part of the climb. And the, the strategy there was just to give myself a little bit of micro recovery at around threshold and then go just a little bit above threshold just to try and get the wheels of the people in front. I, I forget who it was, but someone was saying in the live chat, you need to get someone's wheel by 700. And I was acutely aware of that because it comes flat. Um, and so I just about managed to do that. And so thank you very much for all the advice and encouragement. It definitely makes a difference, a big difference. So let's see if there's a Zwift. Oh, dear me. That one took a lot out of me, more so than even normal. No, I didn't ride fastest, Steve. Um, whenever I race, and indeed increasingly when I'm doing really hard, like two minute, three minute efforts outside, I am taking on liquid carbohydrates. The reason I take on liquid carbohydrates alongside the amino acids and coffee is they're very quickly digested, i.e. The, the body isn't taking blood into the stomach to digest all the carbohydrates. Um, and if I'm racing later in the afternoon in a crit race outdoors, I'll eat solid foods like oats and obviously Mark Harris, who's in the live chat now with his nitroglycerine of the maple syrup, and I'll still have fast digesting carbs immediately before the race. Um, yeah, I did lose my gears there. This is a problem sometimes with the Watt bike. The hood sometimes slips, and so you're pressing for a gear and you're not getting anything, or worse still, I was pressing for a lower gear and I was in like one of the higher gears. So it was a bit, um, yeah. A bit emotional. I know when that happens, just to smash the hell out of the hoods until the hood gets back in the right place and just desperately keep clicking on the downward shifter. Yeah, finesse it isn't. So, um, is it 16th today? Is it? No, it's not the 16th today, is it? It's a... Let's see if it's up. Oh, it hasn't. Yeah, it hasn't put the results up. Um, let me just quickly exit Zwift then. Because I can quickly look at training peaks to see if there was a good normalized power there. Because 282 or whatever it was is, um, you know, that's about the going rate for me over an hour. I'm always in the somewhere between the 280 to 290, 295, that kind of range. Let's call Zwift back up just quickly otherwise it looks dreadful. Right, now if I go to training peaks, it should tell me what the normalized power is and I can tell Coach Laverat good things. But Ed, if you're if you watching this, um, an equal 10 minute PB, but at the back end of a 32 kilometer ride, I know that's the kind of thing that you look out for um, with your eagle eye. Okay, I got a 10 minute heart rate PB uh, of 182. And it actually says it's a number two 10 minute power, 323 watts over 10 minutes is what uh, Training Peaks is saying. And then if I go to the map or the graph. Yeah, the normalized wasn't a whole lot different. Um, 
Oh, actually, I've got to get rid of the, the no pedaling bit. Oh dear. Sorry, this isn't very slick. Anyway, it's probably time for people to go and move on to Ed's channel, because he's got some racing going on. Um, let me just try and find one last time. I think it's because my thumb is a bit... Normally you can... Oh, I can't find where the normalised power is. I reckon though, it was half decent, but 323 watts for 10 minutes, you know, that is roughly what the intent was at the start of this. Okay, what's the advantage? Um, I'm not, oh, the, uh, the power-ups. Yeah, definitely, Mark. Um, I don't know, I think in the spare of the moment, the red mist comes down and I just go for the big power and I forget that I've got a massive boost like that. But I don't think it would have made too much of a difference. Um, in the placing in the end this time around, but definitely I need to get a lot better at generally my race craft and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that, that shifting, yeah, I definitely lost a bit of momentum as a result of the, the shifting problem. Um, because the cadence I reckon must have dropped to something like, I don't know, 20 or 30. Um, <coughs> but, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, and luckily I've got the strength through the hammies <coughs> and the quads to just keep the pedal turning and if you keep the pedal turning in that very high gear you've still got the wattage so you don't lose too much momentum in the actual game itself it just you lose the pedaling momentum and it takes time to get back into your stride oh. but anyway um i won't keep anybody any longer but i really appreciate everybody tuning in i hope the pain face um delivered I, I'm, I'm guessing it did given a 182 10 minute uh, heart rate on that climb um, it felt pretty contorted um, and I hope you enjoy um, if you're in the UK the long weekend the bank holiday weekend same in America um, it's uh, I think it's Labor Day in America um, I hope the weather's good for a ride outside spending time with the family and virtually uh, with the friends um, but in the meantime please remember whoever you are and whatever you do live thrive and stay healthy thank you very much You did, Steve. Top 25. I think it was 21st. Thank you all very much and take care.